I've been a Girl Scout since I was seven years old. Um, I grew up, was at least 10 or 11 years in Girl Scouting, went all the way through to be uh, a Mariner, and uh, got, at that time, the highest award was the, the first class badge in the curved bar. And then I had a troop uh, when we lived in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and then I had a troop with my own daughters uh, here in Wilmington. And then uh, shortly after that, the current Girl Scout president, who was also on the Delaware Nature Education Society board, invited me to become uh, a member of the property committee, and I've been dealing with property ever since. I knew that it was going to be the Science and Technology Lodge, but I didn't realize uh, that it was going to be named for me, and that was a complete surprise. The only thing I could think of was my father would say, well, uh, fools' names and fools' faces always appear in public places, and I had grown up with that expression, so I, I, I was embarrassed, but I guess I've, I've gotten used to it. Welcome to the Science and Technology Lodge of the Girl Scouts of the Chesapeake Bay Council. The um, building was given a LEED Platinum Award. LEED is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, and it's a United States federal designation. We were the first building in Delaware to be LEED Platinum, and the first in the Girl Scout world uh, in the United States. This is the mechanical room, we call it the brain room. Um, it has all of the controls for solar panels. There are three on the roof for the hot water and they come over in a, in a liquid called glycol that heats the hot water in this great big tank. And then the other panels bring direct current into these boxes and they convert it into alternating current and it comes over here to the panels for all of the electricity throughout the house. The programming at this particular building has been uh, particularly in science, technology, engineering, and math. We're teaching girls that uh, they're going to have to have a career. There is no other organization that does that for girls. Uh, this is uh, our new programming. This is a new century way of working with girls and Beyond that, beyond their own abilities to get to know themselves, to know their strengths, their weaknesses, we are emphasizing leadership and that leadership is not that difficult. It, it takes courage, confidence, and character. And that's where we're coming from. This is the lab where we teach science, technology, engineering, and math. It was a, the STEM program uh, came in just about the time this building was being built. We have a nice demonstration here. The girls can turn on one light bulb and see how much electricity it, it's using and watch the meter go around fast. And when you put on this light bulb, it goes on very slowly and they can see the difference in how little electricity these newer light bulbs use. We're teaching them about finances and budgeting. We're teaching them about uh, care of, their, of themselves, uh, their health, um, and future careers. And that's one of our pathways or journeys. So that uh, to expose them with a in a hands-on way to uh, the kitchen, to uh, outdoors, to trips, to planning, um, is part of their future. This is a commercial kitchen. Uh, it's also a working kitchen for the girls. And we have programs on uh, the different chemistry with food uh, that the girls enjoy, can do part of their badge work and some of their journeys. This is the main activity room. The room is designed to have natural light uh, and natural air exchange and uh, to be healthy. Um, the light comes in through the clear story windows way up above. They're all manually operated. Uh, the light also is uh, accentuated by having a lighter color linoleum on the floor in the darkest part of the room. The wood that's used in here is a natural, it's tulip poplar. Uh, on the stage is bamboo, which is a 
fast growing and therefore sustainable material. We left the room without a ceiling so that the trusses are to show how they support the roof. All of the windows are operable uh, so that we can have fresh air and clear light from outside as often as possible. I love Girl Scouting. I love the values that it expresses and teaches and I love the diversity that I never had growing up. In addition to the programming that we're trying to do in the 21st century to bring the girls uh, along into what the world that they will inherit. This is our hundredth year and we look back and see what Juliet Lowe did uh, in bringing girls outside of the house. Uh, but we, we want to bring them outside into an adult world where they are going to have to uh, be responsible for themselves. Nobody's going to take care of them. Nobody's going to pay their bills for them. And I do hope in the future that women and Girl Scout women who we have uh, exposed and who have perhaps developed their interests and found out who they are and gone on with a passion to what they're good at, um, that they will develop these things. The values I think are timeless and I hope those values continue and that, that women bring them forward so that we will have a green, sustainable world and hopefully we'll have peace in the world.